For Amir Khan it is either the opening page of another glorious chapter or the first sentence of a melancholy postscript to his career. Two years after being knocked out by Canelo Alvarez and five years since he last appeared in a British ring, King Khan is coming back. On route to reclaiming his world championship throne, he firmly believes. Or the beginning of the end should he lose, as he is man enough to admit. Khan's Canadian opponent in Liverpool on Saturday night, Phil Lo Greco has been selected to pose only a modest threat but also provide a test of how much of Khan's former Olympic and world title juice he has left in the tank. Khan insists, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't convinced I can win another world title. I know there are people hoping this fight will be the end for me. But at 31 I'm feeling 25 again. It will be back to the big time after I beat Lo Greco. All his celebrity distractions, from the jungle to MMA promoting, and his humanitarian work in Pakistan have raised questions as to whether Khan still has the dedication for the hardest game. His answer, I know even more now that boxing is what I do best. For the next two years I am going to devote myself to becoming a world champion for the third time. Only then will I call it a day. Connage, 31 fights, 35-1, 31 KOS, 19 drawn, 0 lost, 4 rounds boxed, 209 height, 5 feet, 8 ins reach, 71 ins weight. 10 ST 10 pounds low grudge, 33 fights, 31 1, 28 KOS, 15 drawn, 0 lost, 3 rounds boxed, 162 height, 5 feet 8 inches reach, 68 inches weight, 10 ST 9 pounds, 67 kilograms. To relaunch that process, he accepts that this is what he must do in the Echo Arena this weekend. I need to win. Look good. No excuses. But no ring rest after two years recovering from the Canelo KO in Las Vegas, which is now tainted by the Mexicans' drugs controversy. No, he argues. I'm feeling stronger, quicker, sharper than ever. I can't wait. Getting back in the ring I will feel home again. These two years will disappear the moment the first bell rings. Boom. Adrenaline rush. Back to business. The journeyman in the opposite corner doubts that. Lo Greco said, no matter what you do in the gym, there's always rust in the ring after a layoff. He's been living the luxurious life and as the great Marvin Hagler said when he refused to come back, you can't go running at 5 in the morning in silk pajamas. Khan will have found it hard getting up for fighting me when he knows he's on the last journey of his career. Of Khan's allegedly suspect chin, Lo Greco says, he is chinny but that's not the root of the problem. He has no legs. Never has had legs and in his 30s it can only get worse. With feet as fast as his hands. Khan can afford the smile with which he greets that remark. He is also pleased that all 9,000 seats in the Echo will be filled, saying, It makes me proud that five years since my last fight in the UK I can sell out an arena. I can't thank enough the people of Liverpool and the travelling fans. I think they know that whenever I fight it is always exciting. This will be the same, only without me falling for any silly shots. Khan is intent on avoiding the kind of sucker punches which have occasionally been his undoing not least because of the rewards which would follow a comeback victory. A return fight with Danny Garcia, who like Canelo got KO lucky one behind on the scorecards, is in the works. Other world champions like Terence Crawford and Keith Thurman are interested in doing big welterweight business with Khan. The overly delayed domestic dust-up with Kell Brook would be the only real option left should Lo Greco pull off the upset. But expect to carry on waiting. Unless Bolton's finest really has become but a shadow of his championship self it will be over and out for the Canadian in Liverpool not Khan. Probably around the 8th. Khan Greco will be televised live on Sky Sports this Saturday night.